con job. <laughs> Welcome back to Harvard. Less than 24 hours now before the public hears from both Dr. Christine Blasey Ford and Judge Brett Kavanaugh on Capitol Hill. President Trump spent more than an hour tonight responding to reporters' questions, including the allegations against his Supreme Court nominee. Let's bring in tonight's roundtable, Kimberly Atkins, chief Washington reporter for the Boston Herald, near, near attendant president and CEO of Center for American Progress and Matt Schlapp, chairman of the American Conservative Union. I just want to start off with what looked like the outlook before tonight, which was a five-act play basically planned by the Republicans, fairly so. The president has a right to call the planning. They had a press conference tonight, two testimonies tomorrow by the accuser and the defendant, a vote by the committee on Friday, then a vote by the full Senate early next week. How's that five-act play look like right now? Well, it's it's up in the air because the flip keep the script keeps being flipped every few hours, it yes. seems, with whether new allegations from new accusers, uh, people, the president coming in and sort of trying to take over the messaging of this in his uh, press conference while you have other members of the Senate that are trying to uh, proceed more cautiously before this hearing. Now you have, well, we're up to four accusers and only one is testifying tomorrow. Uh, it's just thrown uh, one uh, you know, one un, un, unexpected, uh, one unexpected update to, uh, to another into all of this. And but still, as of right now, it appears that Republicans want to move forward and press forward with this vote. I don't know if they're afraid of running out of time. I don't know if at this point the calculation is better to have Brett Kavanaugh go for a vote, right. get voted down so that they can move on to the next person. I, I don't know yet. But it seems at this point in any other universe, this nominee would have been pulled by now. Until two weeks ago, uh, Matt, this guy was Mr. Rogers, your neighbor neighbor guy never did anything wrong never really didn't drink much even was a pussycat at school nice guy never caused any trouble with women and all this seems to be coming he's become a pinata right and it gets every couple hours we get in a new one how's this look for the president i think he opened the door a couple times today in this press conference he said i'm looking at this i'm going to reconsider it i'm going to i could be persuaded what's he talking about i think it's what he should do he ought to look at tomorrow tomorrow's a big day for his presidency it's a big day obviously for the court and it's a big day for the country. And the American people are going to look at these two people talk, and they're going to make judgments. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a critical time. I'm glad the president said he, he's going to look at that. If he had said anything different, I think most people uh, would have criticized him for that. So I think his performance today was right. And, look, I know Brett well. I know some people are having some fun with all this. He's a very dear friend of mine. And if he is innocent of these charges... This is one of the worst things I've ever seen in politics. It's well, truly hardball. No, I, say, but what, I want to ask you, do you think there's a, the, the theme here, everybody says he's good in, in the office. There's never been a harassment issue. Or never used the, his power. Not a or never, but, right. but this Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde aspect that is coming through in all these accusations, they no. don't deny he's good in public. I, they deny he's I, a problem after some drinks. Can I ask this question? I, I understand that, but let me just ask you this question. You said a five-act play that goes in sequence. You have to understand, for those of us who know and 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 love Brett Kavanaugh what is going on where none of this could go in the normal process of this lengthy Supreme Court confirmation process it's all one after the other perfectly timed that is strange it's not and that perfectly looks timed. coordinated that's outrageous first of all the, this how this outrageous out is it it's really, really outrageous is because it? of the coordination really? oh I'm sorry do you have evidence that these women know each other or are you just flat, you, or are you just calling these women liars no, because you'd all. like to no all I'm saying the is, is they might be being used by the Democratic they are Party. not nobody is using these women and the idea that you deny dr. Ford agency and all these women is I just another what you did She's being used by her lawyers. I'm That's saying That's denying she, her I'm, agency. You are saying, saying she doesn't. Can I just, can I just I'll finish? say what can I'm saying. Can I just say one thing about this, which is we could have a normal process. Everybody knows this. We had a normal no, process. No, no. A yes, normal process. And, and, and the irony of the situation we're in is that Anita Hill actually had a much more normal process than this, which is when allegations came forward, the FBI investigated, and they had witness after witness after witness. And there's really two questions mm. that we have, the American people have that have never been answered, which is, why can we not have an FBI investigation of these allegations? Every single woman has asked for an FBI investigation. Dr. Ramirez today asked for an FBI investigation. And uh, Mark, Ju Mark Judge's former girlfriend is confirming the story He's of the gang pound. rape. He's the yes. Sancho Panza and this thing. So more and more evidence. Okay, let me ask. Let me give Ginger. There's an answer. Ginger, I want to ask you another. And then also, why isn't Mark Judge testifying? Cameron, I want to ask you this one. Yeah. Suppose tomorrow's a draw in terms of dramatics and credibility. She is incredible, empathetic people. Oh, that poor woman, it really did happen. And he comes in like a guy who's, like I said, Mr. Rogers, perfectly, you know, mild mannered, nice, 
today's man, you know, the, the 2018 man. No problem with women. Don't we need an investigation after that to basically break the tie, if there is a tie? I don't think there will be, but... And, and even if there is a tie, there are three other accusers. This is not just about Dr. Ford anymore. This is the biggest problem that the Republicans have. They don't want to hear from, from the others. fact that we are in a social okay. moment. We are in a Me Too moment and going against uh, accusers, tell, calling accusers, uh, saying that they are nothing but political pawns, I think is problematic. for Well, the this GOP is the Florida the recount, and they want the count to stop. No more witnesses. Stop it tomorrow. That's it. With our panel, we'll be right back after the break. You're watching hard. This is now reporting that the Senate Judiciary Committee is probing at least one new previously unreported allegation of misconduct against Judge Kavanaugh, a fourth woman whose identity is still unknown. We're back with the Hardball Roundtable, Kimberly, Neera, and Matt. Matt, how does the president survive with this nominee and get through the night on this? Well, the thing I think that's not very well understood is out there in the country, and I just came back from four states, amongst conservatives and Republicans, they believe that they have lost way too many Supreme Court battles over the years, and although what was done to Merrick Garland is a real cry for the Democrats. No one ever tried to smear him. No one said he was a bad guy. He's a perfectly honorable judge. For Republicans, this is a great unifier. And to step back from Brett Kavanaugh is very dicey. Can they win if they lose? They will win. They, they can win. I don't... No, why, you why win. So Does your side win if you lose this nomination? No. Okay. Our side has to win this nom For okay. once, we have to stand up together okay, Nira, and fight. What do the Democrats do to look good tomorrow? Because it looks like they've got the advantage here. On the, on, the, on the latest news, how do they adva take advantage of it without going to overkill? Look, I think Judge Kavanaugh had a disastrous performance the other day. He, he seemed on to Fox. lie mul on Fox News. He seemed to lie multiple times. I think if we have Dr. Ford testify to her experience and we see that, Judge Kavanaugh, I really don't think Democrats have to do much. They need to, to point out the ridiculousness of this process in which there is no FBI investigation. I think they will bring into Have you been talking this, to Ricky Seidman? Do you know into what she's this, working? I have she, not talked to Ricky talk. Seidman, I I but I do think, I think the, the truth here is that the Democrats have to put these other women's voices into this mix because Republicans have silenced them. They okay. are silencing them in this process. I think that absent uh, Judge Kavanaugh falling completely on his face or, or being shown clearly to have lied or something else, uh, and absent some smoking gun proof that Dr. Ford can produce, which is also unlikely, this is just going to galvanize both sides uh, where they are, and this is just a political slugfest. Who that's gets happening. the 50? Are they going to get the 50 votes they need out of 51? I don't know, but I think in terms of who wins and who, whether Republicans win, I think it's a difference between uh, Judge Kavanaugh's vote, going to a vote and being voted down, in which the base that is angry about them will blame the Democrats and call well, it he's smear. Blamed, him. No. Or, says they're going to blame Republicans. Or they're going to blame Republicans too. Or, well, I think they blame Republicans if they pull the nomination, but I'm not or sure. Or they vote down. No, no. no if, any, if, if, if Republicans prevent, all they need is 50 votes, and we've got them. If Republicans do anything yeah, to harm yeah. okay. this. Getting on there, I think the Republican senators would not like to vote on no, this at this I, point. I, I need to just say what? one quick thing, which is if you look at the polling over the last week, women, independent women, not just Democratic women, independent women, Democratic women, and even Republican women are softening. It's in poll after poll after poll. Okay, thank you. Kimberly Atkins, Neera Tannen, and Matt Schlapp. Hardball, back up to this.